Let me show you how to say battery life in iOS 26. Now, if you updated your iPhone to iOS 26, but all of a sudden the battery life has plummeted, I'll show you how to fix it. But first, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we're going to do is head into the settings app on your iPhone. There are a number of different things that we can do to make sure your phone doesn't use up too much battery. The first thing that I would recommend doing is making sure the background app refresh is turned off. If this is turned on, then every app on here that's toggled on can use data and use your processor in the background running your battery constantly. So I would recommend switching this to off. Now, after we've done that, there's other things that I would recommend doing. We want to make sure that we are going into the display and brightness and making sure the always on display is turned off. If this is turned on, then even when you lock your iPhone screen, it will still be on draining your battery. So I would recommend disabling the always on display unless you really like it that. That takes up a lot of your battery. Now there are some really cool options that are built into the battery section. You can see it says 52% here and it will show you what's taking up so much of your battery usage. I would highly recommend going into the power mode and you can choose to turn on adaptive power. This will manage your power depending on your usage and it will shut down various background processes to help your iPhone preserve the battery. Now you can also choose to turn on low power mode, which does a lot of things by default. It reduces the background activity, the processing speed, display refresh rate, limits certain functions, etc. If you find that your battery is running out quickly, just toggle on that low power mode and just leave it on for as long as you're okay with it. Now there are other things that we can do by default that will help your battery life. One of those is your mail fetch. So every time you open your iPhone, if your iPhone automatically checks your mail, let's get into the mail fetch. Now, if it's set to push your mail, again, every time you get new email, it will push it to your phone. Or if you have it set to fetch every hour or 30 minutes, your iPhone will automatically check for new email all the time, constantly refreshing and checking for new email. I would recommend switching these to manual and switching this to off so you don't have the push emails. Now, after we go through all of these steps, this should help reduce the overall usage of your iPhone. The last thing I would recommend doing is regularly going through and shutting down your iPhone. You can see at the very bottom, the shutdown option, just turn off your iPhone, slide to power it off. You'd be surprised how many times this helps basically your iPhone run better, more smooth, and not drain your battery as quickly.